Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery, and today I'm going to be talking about all of the books that I will hopefully be reading in August. Baby, baby. Okay, so August is here. So let's talk about all of the books that I will hopefully be reading this month. The first thing that we're gonna do is pick from my spinner wheel. So if you didn't know, once a month I post on my community page for my channel members, and I ask them to recommend me any book at all that is on Kindle Unlimited. I gather up all of their comments and responses and I put them on the spinner wheel and then I pick one or I spin it once and then I pick a book and then that book will be a part of my dedicated weekly reading vlogs for my channel members only. So whatever book I pick on will be picked by one of my members and I will talk in depth about them in my weekly reading vlogs. Okay, it's ready to spin. Let's go. Entered in the Alien Bride Lottery. I don't know the author of this, let me look it up, but this was recommended by Kayla over on On the Fritz. Okay, so I actually own this book on Kindle, um, but I think it's also on Kindle Limited, but I think I got it as a freebie one time because I do own this book. It says, there are a million ways to end up in the Alien Bride Lottery, but it only takes one. Every unmarried female human over the age of 21 gets entered once a year. You can also accept extra entries for legal infractions. Instead of paying for a parking fine, for example, you can request an extra entry. Lots of women do that. The chances are astronomical that your name will get chosen to be one of the hundred or so women who will get shipped off to space every year. And even if your name is drawn, the odds are slim that you'll match up with an alien who's looking for a mate. Most lottery drawn women come back to earth every year and resume their lives as if nothing's changed, but some don't. And no matter what, getting drawn in the lottery means you have to complete the bride games. Guess where our heroine's headed now? She can only hope to avoid catching the eye of the giant rainbow-hued brute whose mission is to protect Earth and who can claim her as a mate, all because she entered in the Alien Bride lottery. It says this is for fans of Grace Goodwin, Lauren Dower, and Ruby Dixon. I've read two of those authors. I love two of those authors. So this is gonna be great. So thank you so much, Kayla, for the recommendation. I can't wait to read this. I know that you really, really, really liked this one. Okay, let's get on to the rest of the books for this TBR. I'm going to be talking about the three that I own physically first. First, I have Where Winter Finds You by J.R. Ward. This is book number, let me check. It's 17.5 in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series, the Vampire Romance series. My lovely friend Desiree sent this to me for Christmas this year, so thank you so much, Desi. But um, I have yet to read this, and so I'm trying to hopefully read all the rest of the books by the end of the year. Crossing my fingers, hopefully that can happen. But this is apparently a book about Trez, who we had part of his story in one of the previous books and I cried like a baby in that book. So we'll see what happens with this one. Hopefully it does not wreck me, but um, I'm really excited to continue on with the rest of the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. Speaking of continuing series, I have Do You Want to Start a Scandal by Tessa Dare. This is book number five, I believe, in the Spindle Cove series. And after I read this, I will be completely caught up in her Spindle Cove series. So apparently this romance is all about Miss Charlotte Highwood, whom you've met in the previous books and I can't wait to read about her romance story. I know that people love this book in the series. Let's see if it has a step back. Oh, it does. There you go. <laughs> um, but I love this cover. I love Tessa Dare. I love the Spindle Cove series. This is like a series that takes place in a city called, or a town, called Spindle Cove, otherwise known as Spinster Cove, where a bunch of spinsters go or ladies who are trying to find husbands or will go into society soon just like a, it's kind of like a woman's society there's not a lot of men there so i don't know who her romance is going to be with but i am going to go in blind and i will hopefully love it i then have a repeat from last month which was the lily and the sword by sarah bennett um, i just didn't get around to picking this one up i had so many books on my tbr last month so hopefully i get to this one this is a historical romance where i believe he kidnaps the heroine and then they fall in love that's all I think I remember from the summary. Um, I like to go into books blind, if you cannot tell. And so I don't personally know all that much about it, but I was just so intrigued by the cover and I still want to read it, even though I did not get to it last month. Okay, so we're on to the ebooks or audiobooks. Next, I have a buddy read that I will be doing with Shelby over at Shelby Taggart Reads. I love Shelby so much. She's a dear, dear friend of mine. And so we're going to be reading Focused by Carla Sorensen. Her name is sometimes a tongue twister for me. I'm so sorry. Okay, so this is all about a woman named Molly and she had a crush on this guy when she was a teenager. She sees him years later and he is now turned into a giant jerk. Apparently Noah, who is 
the crush in this instance, has become one of the best football players in the country and he just landed on Molly's doorstep. Apparently Noah's presence is the key to Molly's promotion in her office. The problem is Noah wants nothing to do with Molly and his surly attitude is making her job very difficult. But he's got another thing coming if he thinks Molly will be intimidated by one grumpy football player, no matter how much he hates being around her. So enemies to lovers, sports romance, I think maybe a workplace romance, so Hopefully I love this one. Um, I'm so glad that I'm going to be buddy reading this with Shelby. So far from the few people that I know that have read this book, have really enjoyed it. Next I have Always Only You by Chloe Lee. This is the second book a part of the Bergman Brothers series. I read book one last month and absolutely adored it. So I definitely want to continue on with the series. I know that my lovely friend Tori over at uh, Novel Life loves this book. The heroine has her chronic illness RA and um, she loves the representation in it. So I definitely want to read this book. I believe this is a workplace romance and I love workplace romances. So I'm really looking forward to this one. And I have the audiobook coming in on Libby very soon and the audiobooks for these are just amazing. This is a part of the Bergman Brothers series if you didn't know and I believe each book is about the a sibling in the Bergman family and so I think the hero in this one is a part of the Bergman family and he plays hockey if I'm not mistaken so I love a good hockey romance as well. Next I have Dark Wild Night by Christina Lauren. This is book number three a part of the Wild Seasons series. If you didn't know in the first book Sweet Filthy Boy there are three guy friends and three girlfriends and they meet each other for the first time in Las Vegas. They end up getting drunk one night and they end up accidentally drunkenly getting married to one of the other people, a part of the friend group. The couple from book one, they ended up seeing if their marriage would work out, whereas the other two couples got annulled immediately. So this is about one of the couples who got their marriage annulled right away, but I believe they're now like friends. And so I think it's a friends to lovers. And like, I think they still have like unrequited feelings for one another. This is about Lola and Oliver. Oliver, I think, owns a comic book shop and Lola is a artist, if I'm not mistaken. I love artistic characters. I, I do. It's something I'm a sucker for in romances. And it feels like both of them have that artistic taste and what they like and like what they, their hobbies are, what they enjoy. And I love me a good friends to lovers. So you bet. I'm excited for this one as well. Next, I have Wyvern by Grace Draven. I'm trying to read more of Grace Draven's backlist. I love Grace Draven. She's a fantasy romance writer. I don't know much about this one. I own this on ebook. I got it, I got it, I bought it on, on Kindle a while ago. Um, but this is about a woman who lives in this fantasy land and I believe she falls for a dragon shifter, even though she doesn't know that he's a shifter or something like that. But I'm gonna go into this blind. I love Grace Draven, I trust her. I haven't really heard about that many people reading this one so hopefully i love it and can recommend it to all of you next i have buffy the vampire slayer omnibus volume two i am currently halfway through volume one and so i hopefully will finish it by the end of the month i've been reading it in between um commercial breaks during the olympics and it is so fun i love buffy if you didn't know buffy the vampire slayer is my favorite show of all time y'all need to watch it it is so good if you love anything paranormal vampire related twilight vampire diaries anything like that watch buffy the vampire slayer it's amazing love it so these are just like some comics that uh, you read after the TV show and so I am about to finish volume one so we'll hopefully be getting to volume two and I think this volume takes place like in tandem with the TV show which will be really cool to read about. Next I have an audiobook that will hopefully be in for me on Libby during August like it's on a wait list for me and hopefully I will get it in August and that is Neighbor Dearest by Penelope Ward. Now I've only read I think a book by Van Keelan and Penelope Ward together um because they're like a very predominant author duo but I don't think I've ever read one by Penelope Ward like by herself. This one just appealed to me so much because this is a friends to lovers and if you didn't know I am a sucker for friends to lovers romances. This just sounds hilarious. So our heroine, she gets a new next door neighbor named Damien. She doesn't really want him around because apparently he really reminds her of her ex-boyfriend. And so like he has these two like kind of loud barking dogs and then like he kind of ignores her. So she thinks that like he doesn't like her. And then one night she like hears him laughing next door. Like she can hear him through the wall and turns out he can listen to everything that she is saying on her like therapist like phone calls or like therapy appointments and he's just laughing and she is mortified. <laughs> 
Anyways, they finally become like friends after that. And then I think it grows from friends to lovers. And that just sounded so entertaining to me. This has amazing ratings on Goodreads and I can't wait to listen to this audiobook. And hopefully Penelope Ward is an author that I can read more of. Next, we're gonna talk about two Ruby Dixon books that I will hopefully be reading. First, we have Fire in Her Dreams. This is book number nine in the Fireblood Dragon series. This is currently the newest book out. Um, book number 10 will be out pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. I don't wanna talk about the summary of this. I'll talk about the series in general. So this is a post-apocalyptic romance story that also has aliens involved or dragon shifter aliens. So this romance book is basically like, what if a portal opened up on earth in the sky, like a rift opened up in the sky and dragons started flying through the, the hole in the sky, kind of like the rift you see in like Avengers, you know? Um, that comes flying through, dragons come flying through, basically start decimating the entire planet, except for a few small camps here and there with some survivors. So it's been like a, a while since uh, these dragons have been here. Through the series, you learn about how these dragons are actually dragon shifters, and they can shift it into their humanoid like form once they consent and know who their mate is. Like their mate, like, like, um, lessens their like insanity the reason why like they're aggressive and everything is because their minds and apparently the atmosphere in the world they kind of make them um insane on earth and so they kind of like just start breathing fire and then when they smell their mate they're like oh my gosh and so then they like realize who they actually are and remember who they are and then they can turn into their humanoid form and then they become mates with human women or in this case there's one book where it is a dragon woman and then there's a human man that one's my favorite in the series but I'm very excited to read this one. Um, I just want to be caught up on all of Ruby Dixon's series. Then it leads me into When She's Bold by Ruby Dixon. This is book number six, a part of the Rizdiverse series. And once I finish this book, I will be caught up on the Rizdiverse series as well. This is just an alien romance series. Each book is about a human woman that gets abducted by aliens. And then they kind of like get saved and get put on this farm planet called Rizda 3 where they like farm and everything but a bunch of them are in trouble because because of the misogyny of the world even this alien world um if you don't have a husband with you to help protect you and your farm um other aliens can steal it from you specifically alien men who want to steal it from you that's the general plot of this series like it involves Rizda 3 in one way or another more so the first couple books um but i don't know anything about this one specifically. Um, I like to go into her books blind if you did not know. <laughs> um, but we met this heroine in the previous book and I really liked her. So um, I think she's like raising cows on <laughs> this farm planet, which sounds really entertaining to me. Next, we have an arc that I will hopefully be getting to. I believe this arc comes out on August 17th. So I will hopefully be reading this before that point. This is called Battle, is it Battle Royale or Battle Royal? I don't know which way to pronounce it because Battle Royale sounds like something familiar to me. Anyway, um, by Lucy Parker. I know that some of my lovely friends here on booktube love Lucy Parker. This is apparently a rom-com. So this is about Sylvie and four years ago, she was a contestant on a very popular game, uh, baking show called Operation Cupcake. And apparently this is the romance between her and one of the judges of the show. Um, so his name is Dominic and I think he like ended up like voting her off the show at some point because something went wrong with the cake or whatever. And so it's years later, four years after the show. And apparently Sylvie is like coming back to the show, but as a judge. So they have to like judge the show together and he is not happy about it. He's very grumpy and grim and very broody. But then they also have the opportunity, I think, to bake a cake for a very famous princess or person or whatever. And they have to work together very reluctantly too. And this just sounds really cute. I adore baking. I adore baking romances. And um, this feels like just like a recipe for an amazing enemies to lovers romance. And lastly, I really want to utilize Kindle Unlimited more. So I will hopefully be reading Made for an Alien Prince by Roxy Ray. I'm trying to read more alien romances that are available off of Kindle Unlimited. And so I found this one and it had pretty great ratings. So I think this is about our heroine who is a maid and she is a maid for the very rich. She doesn't really like the rich, but she gets her money by cleaning up after them. But then an alien prince ends up like buying her maid contract and she has to go clean for him. And she's very reluctant to and very put off by because she doesn't like rich people. Um, but then he turns out to be the complete opposite of who she expects like a rich person to be. Like he's really nice, she, he treats her really well and she just doesn't understand why. But then they start getting to know one another and they kiss and 
you can guess what goes from there. Hopefully you really like this one. If I'm not into an alien romance, I will definitely just DNF it. Um, so hopefully that doesn't happen with this one. And if it does, I'll just move on to another alien, alien romance that's on my TBR list. So there you have it. Those are all the books that I will hopefully be getting to in August. I do have some books that are not included on this video um, that, I, that are repeats from last month, um, just because I didn't want to bore y'all with repeating books that I didn't get to last month. But yeah, um, let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.